Good morning. I really hope you're still enjoying the time that we are spending together. My name is Valentine or at Color Me Val. That is Valwama Colors because I like bright, colorful things. That's, I just like it. It's just a weakness. Yeah, I can't help it. But meanwhile, we are starting the health segment for the day. And today we're talking about cardiovascular diseases. Those are CDVs, skin and heart attack etc etc we'll be learning a bit more about what the other ones are and maybe preventive measures and how one can be prone to such situations but please do remember your comments are very valuable to us so at white 5 on facebook at y254 channel on twitter hashtag is why in the morning where you can send us a text using our sms line 20154 start with y254 now in the meantime please help me give a very 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 warm welcome to our guest of the day sasa Posana. mambo Posana. My, my name is pitambo gonjaroga uh -huh. I am an emergency medical technician by mm. profession. Mm. I work with FACIT. I'm also a teacher. Mm -hmm. I teach first aid, mm -hmm. fire, occupational health and safety, mm -hmm. and safety at large. And safety at large. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, that that one about the fire caught me off guard. I didn't. I didn't imagine you doing something like that. <laughs> what What do What does that? E, you said EM. Emergency medical technician. EMT. Yes, what does an EMT, EMT do? An EMT are the guys that roll with the ambulance. Mm -hmm. We say we work under pre-hospital care. We manage the patient on scene before transferring to a hospital. So our work is, for example, we found a patient who has collapsed, maybe because of heart attack. Uh, somebody raises an ambulance, we respond. Mm -hmm. uh, so our work is to maybe the person is not breathing we can start CPR, mm -hmm. initiate oxygen. Uh, we also give lines mm -hmm. where we give fluids. So not just less than that. No, you know, to say initiate line. So that's what we do. Mm -hmm. So with the ones who are called uh, in, in, in times of accidents, I'm not sure what to say. My ambulance, but they don't know what they are called. We are called emergency mm -hmm. medical technicians. We are trained by different schools such as Saint John. Avenue Rescue, ICT, Fire and Rescue, mm -hmm. Gertrude's ETC. Mm -hmm. That's our work. Our work is just to manage patients on the ground. Mm -hmm. Be it air, be it anything else. Mm -hmm. I forgot to say I'm also an aeromedic. What does that even mean? So an aeromedic is um, a medic that can operate on air. Mm -hmm. So the work of an aeromedic maybe is, for example, I can have a patient from Somalia who wants to come to Kenya. Mm -hmm. So you cannot just send anybody mm -hmm. because we have a lot of things that come with air, a lot of sickness that comes with air, mm -hmm. decompression, all. we also have altitude sickness. So we, you need somebody who can manage the patient well on air. Inge kwa siku ingine tofauti inge kumbe unanipima because uh, ambulance ni ya barabara mm hawa -hmm. ingine tu ni wahewa. So so difference what happens, to any mode of transportation? Difference is just mode of transportation. Mm -hmm. But I am an EMT by profession mm -hmm. and, also, and also an aeromedic. So my work is uh, I can manage any patient mm -hmm. anywhere, regardless of the terrain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we work differently. There are people who work in sites. Mm -hmm. There are people who work in Turkana. Mm -hmm. There are people who work in the waters. You where do you work? I work in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just here at Parklands. Okay. Yes. Mm, I have so many questions. Among them being, it a mutant machine and if you ambulance, you can get a lot of traffic. A lot of people may say that. Mm -hmm. But I will say, if you hear a siren, mm -hmm. don't assume, oh, these guys are not carrying anybody, they just want to run away. Just imagine there's somebody who needs help. Mm -hmm. And uh, traffic in Nairobi is uh, not very good to us because mm -hmm. we take, we tend to take a lot of time mm -hmm. uh, before we respond to the scene. Because some of the drivers, some of uh, the people who drive these vehicles are like, mm -hmm. where should I give this to? Mm -hmm. Imagine um, I'm responding to your house. Mm -hmm. I'm responding to your house and when you see your barabara. Mm -hmm. Then later on, you're like, damn, what have, ju what have I just done? Mm -hmm. I was just coming to save somebody from you never know who I'm saving. Mm -hmm. It may be your friend, 
it may be your family or be somebody close to you. So anytime you hear a siren, mm -hmm. don't be quick to judge, mm -hmm. just give way. What is the number of ambulance? The number ambulance, it depends uh, mm -hmm. with, whom, with whom you're calling. Mm -hmm. You can call Red Cross, mm -hmm. you can call uh, private other private hospitals. Akuna uh, Yasirkal? If you want to call uh, for, maybe you need help, mm -hmm. maybe you don't have the St. John ambulance, mm -hmm. you can call 999. The police will respond. Yo, yeah, yeah, hey, in a Chicago. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do a practice run just before the show ends. But what we're going to do is now zoom into the topic of the day, which is yes. cardiovascular disease. What is cardiovascular? Yeah. Na yeah. So what does that really mean, cardiovascular so disease? So cardiovascular is more about the heart system. Mm -hmm. So we have different types of cardiovascular emergencies. We have heart attack. We have cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. Yes, th those are the types that we have. And uh, at times we also have heart failure. Mm -hmm. So people don't differentiate, cannot, a lot of people may not be, may cannot be able to differentiate between the three. Mm -hmm. Cardiac arrest, mm -hmm. heart failure, mm -hmm. and heart attack. I honestly thought cardiac arrest and heart attack are the same thing. They're not the same thing. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Okay, cardiac arrest. I'll start with heart failure. Mm -hmm. This is when the, we have the, the left side of the heart and the right side of the heart. Mm -hmm. One is not be able to function. Mm -hmm. So it means that one side of the heart is not, it's, it's like it's dead. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're using one, one, one side, side of the heart, mm -hmm. which is very, very risky. Mm -hmm. We go to heart attack. Mm -hmm. A heart attack is when um, now, uh, a, a blockage is a blockage of one of your arteries. Uh? Mm -hmm. So oxygen cannot do what? Pass. Cannot pass through. Mm -hmm. Are you together? Mm -hmm. And cardiac arrest is when the heart has stopped. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you together? Mm -hmm. And uh, how would you recognize uh, someone who has a, a heart attack? Okay. Because of the things I watch on TV, mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that it's usually the left hand something happens mm -hmm. so you feel a bit numb mm -hmm. a love for on a skinny you're, you're dizzy dizzy like this mm -hmm. okay that's about it mm -hmm. okay the left hand. so uh, heart attack comes with chest pain mm -hmm. severe crushing chest pain it's mm -hmm. very very painful mm -hmm. i can be here and then <laughs> And then I'll start having difficulty in Nasi heartbreak. Ah, ah, Nasi heartbreak. Please, please. Mm -hmm. Nasi heartbreak. Nasi heartbreak. Nasi heartbreak. So it is more of uh, you, you're hearing some crashing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, very painful, actually. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I may be seated here now talking. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are how some of the reactions you may see mm -hmm. or you may tend to think. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You see, and then what happens next? Mm -hmm. The person may collapse, mm -hmm. so, and also that uh, you'll ha feel some numbness, mm -hmm. and also some pain that goes passes by your neck, mm -hmm. and also your hands, mm -hmm. and also uh, this people. This person may be tired, mm -hmm. may look tired, may sweat. Uh, that person will not become because he has difficulty in breathing, mm -hmm. and uh, at times uh, you'll. It's not easy to to know that this person may go into cardiac yeah, arrest. It's mm. not easy. Mm -hmm. I may be talking right now and then, and then I collapse. Mm -hmm. What happens when I collapse? What can you do? That's a good question. First, I look at you. Mm -hmm. I'm a faint. I just faint. In fact, that would be my first response. Okay, he's fainted. So the mm -hmm. next thing I know, I think I have to elevate your legs mm -hmm. or something of a sort and keep you, you know, free, free in this area so there's free flow of oxygen. But what are we supposed to actually do? Majorly, uh, a lot of people may assume that the casualty has fainted. Mm. And uh, remember, a person who's gone to, who has gotten a heart attack, mm -hmm. the heart has stopped beating. Mm -hmm. Number two, the person may not be breathing. Mm -hmm. So mostly people will be like, ah, mtu ameanguka, ni fainting. Ata mm. At mm. But at, at times it's not the case. Mm -hmm. You need to ask yourself that, uh, are you, uh, what happened? What was the patient doing? Mm -hmm. Those are the, uh, the questions that we ask before attending to the patient. Mm -hmm. What was the patient doing? Now the past history, where you ask, what was he doing before he fell? Mm -hmm. uh, any signs that he saw? Did he have this and this? Mm -hmm. Because at times, uh, somebody, uh, maybe I'll go on a apple. And as I'm going to 
uliona sense gani mm. so anytime you see a person who has collapsed mm. the first thing you should do mm. is to call for help why are mm. you calling for help we are preventing our patients from going to cardiac arrest mm -hmm. The earlier you call for help, the better. The, the better. Mm. Because when you ra raise an uh, ambulance immediately, uh, you're helping our patient. At times, people don't know how to perform CPR. Do you know what CPR is? Yes. What is CPR? There's a guy from St. John who mm -hmm. came to show us CPR. It's, it's when you give the kiss of life, mm -hmm. and then you do the palpitations on the chest and all these things. Uh, how many people know that? Well, hopefully they watched the show and a mm -hmm. few more people know that. A few more people. <laughs> yeah. But uh, let's assume in the society back in where we come from, mm -hmm. the people who are not watching the show. Mm -hmm. You think they... Watch out, Ivo. When you see in Africa, anything had to lay we in a cut to strange new child. Mm -hmm. So if someone falls and maybe even just starts mm, convulsing mm -hmm. a little bit with Chawi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So majorly, when you see somebody who has collapsed, mm -hmm. the first thing is to call for help. Mm -hmm. Help, help, help. Somebody raise an ambulance. Mm -hmm. Are you together? And then you check for pulse. If there's no pulse, start CPR. Mm -hmm. So CPR is known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Mm -hmm. You're helping, it's, uh, we call it the artificial, artificial pumping of the, of the heart. Mm -hmm. We're assisting it to pump blood and oxygen to all parts of the, the, blood. Uh, of the, of the, the brain body, sorry. and the body. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that, you give that chest compression. Mm -hmm. So what if it's trained, it's around uh, maybe 10 minutes, mm -hmm. ambulance has not come, mm -hmm. would you stop? I don't know. The ambulance has not yet come. Will you stop or will you continue with CPR? Would I be harming him if I continue? What do you think? Oh, no, 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 okay. In this is good because this is layman thinking. So when I CPR, when I CPR, at some point, no one can can't land less because it's a lot of this and a lot of blowing. So if he's not coming to, I'd assume if I continue, I'm going to break something. So I'll, I'll panic. I won't stop. I'll first panic before I actually stop. Is that something? What are we supposed to actually? Okay, this is fun. So what what I I believe you don't you don't stop. Are you together? Mm -hmm. You've done it for 10 minutes. Call back. Tell someone. If you're calling St. John, can you call St. John again? Mm -hmm. Ask them. Mm -hmm. And then you'll also tell the dispatcher, this is what, uh, this is what we are mm -hmm. doing. I've done CPR for 10 minutes. Patient has no pulse yet. Mm -hmm. no, no signs of breathing. But I can feel the patient is still warm. Mm -hmm. I, I, can I still continue with CPR? Mm -hmm. If the dispatcher tells you, you can continue. Well, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Or for example, a medic has come, maybe a doctor or a nurse before the ambulance. Mm -hmm. Maybe he or, he or she was just passing by or seeing some commotion and then let me just stop my car and ask if they need some help. And then he asks you, uh, how long have you done CPR? 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So what are you supposed to do? You hand over to, to him now mm -hmm. because he's more of a mm -hmm. qualified personnel. Mm -hmm. He can continue, he can choose to Continue. continue. Mm -hmm. Are you together? Mm -hmm. So why why are we doing CPR? Mm -hmm. We are buying time for the ambulance or the emergency services to Come. have arrived. Mm -hmm. Are you together? Mm -hmm. You cannot just say, ah, let me just chill. Mm -hmm. See when I come, mm -hmm. I turn you watch. Ah, mm -hmm. you don't watch. As I'm trying to talk about the squeezy people just first take videos. You know, that's the problem. That's the society we live in. It's mm -hmm. it's not a good trend that you see somebody has fallen. I'm a, it's an accident. People are just taking photos. It's not a cool thing. Mm -hmm. we, we need to have the urge of serving humanity. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's what bless, it's, mm -hmm. it's what that blesses us every mm -hmm. day. Uto. Yes. So I have seen today we okay today we are talking about mostly heart attacks yeah. and I've seen the the various I don't know if it's the terms or just variations of heart attacks because I've seen things like arrhythmias and mm -hmm. and all that what is that I in Ajua, sorry for interrupting in Ajua, the purpose of the heart is uh, to pump blood oxygenated mm -hmm. blood to the rest of the body right so you've said there's heart failure one side mm -hmm. in what does that mean and then when it actually stops altogether, that means there's no flow of blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when the heart stops, definitely there's, there's nothing that is happening in your mm -hmm. body. Are you together? So, uh, so when the heart has stopped, there's nothing that is. Mm -hmm. Nothing is happening. No blood is 
circulating. Mm -hmm. And also some some of the signs people change. Mm -hmm. The color, people turn to blue, grayish. Mm -hmm. How will you know? For example, mm -hmm. how will you know after turning to blue or grayish color? Mm. The lips. lips. Yes, very good. Hey! Awesome. <laughs> and also, you can check the... The fingertips. The upper coil. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. So, it's one of the signs. Eh? And uh, mostly, people may not understand. It's what it's called, synosis. Mm -hmm. Changing of the color. Mm -hmm. We call it... Synosis. So, basically, the heart has stopped. Mm -hmm. Nothing else is happening in your body. Mm -hmm. And... Um, when it comes to most patients, uh, not everybody knows if they are a cardio cardiogenic patient mm -hmm. or they have a cardiovascular issue. And that's why we're told at least you go check for your BPs. Mm -hmm. For example, how, uh, when was the last time you checked your BP? A few weeks ago, actually, because I had a horrible cold. Mm -hmm. And I know that an adult um, BP, wait, it's... it's it, Heart rate. Mm -hmm. Beats per minute, right? Beats per minute. Yeah, so it's supposed to be under 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm right. I'm going to finish. Exam, you want to finish. And yeah, you want to finish. Okay, so basically uh, for an adult, uh, mm. uh, we, we call it the, it needs to be not above 120. Mm -hmm. And the your chini, we have diastolic and systolic. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be 120, 90. Mm -hmm. So, come here, chini ko above 100, mm -hmm. you have a problem. Mm -hmm. And if it's above 120, mm -hmm. you have a problem. You have a problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are the triggers? What do you think that causes uh, uh, cardiogenic heart, heart issues? What do you think? The, the most probable causes of heart issues I've mm -hmm. seen is, is blood clots. Would that be? Yeah, blood clots. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, when it comes to black blood clots, eh, it's because the heart attack now. Mm -hmm. What has happened? There's a blo uh, a blockage of the mm -hmm. heart vessels. Mm -hmm. So what ha what happens when there's a blockage? Things can go through. It's what risky. happens? Mm -hmm. Now there's a clot. Mm -hmm. It means that blood is not flowing. Flowing. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the issues, eh? and also our diet. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't check on their diet. Mm -hmm. Junk, junk every time. Monday to Sunday. Oh, oh, I read about that. The, the fatty deposits. Yes, in the, the fatty deposits. The, uh -huh. Yeah, remember that uh, when it comes to heart attack, mm -hmm. eh, maybe a vessel has been Block. blocked by a fatty tissue mm -hmm. because of a lot of fat. Mm -hmm. Remember the more fat you take, what are you doing to your heart? Just slowing it down. Or, or we have, it has to beat harder. Mm hmm Yes. So that the blood now goes fast through the clogged yes. kidneys to the rest so of the body. So majorly we don't check on our diets. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we don't check on our diets, mm -hmm. we'll be prone to heart attacks. Heart attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, something funny, uh, men are prone to heart attack more than the ladies. Women? How? Yes. That is surprising. I did not know that. How? Men are prone to heart attack more than the ladies. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it's what oh, it's more about what we eat, mm -hmm. and um, because uh, men will love nyamachoma so much. Even men like nyamachoma. But how, do you take a lot? Can you transfer? Shindana. No kweli, so you can transfer shindana. So majorly, um, whatever we eat, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, a lot of fat, mm -hmm. uh, too much alcohol. Mm -hmm. Uh, smoking. That's not goita najua pombe na nyama. Pombe siga. Okay, sorry, I'm very. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know pombe so, na nyama. So uh, you cannot eat goita po. because si lazima upate goita oh. juna kunywa pombe na nyama. Oh. Sasa, mm -hmm. what am I trying to say? It's uh, mm -hmm. the diet. Mm -hmm. Too much consumption of alcohol. alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, not exercising. Mm -hmm. Fatigue. Sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. Depression also. Can cause that at all. Yes. Why? Uh -huh. That person is not social. Uh -huh. So if he or she has a problem, uh -huh. she, he or she does not have any support from anyone. Uh -huh. Because that person is not speaking I, out. What you're saying is stress. Because yeah. I've read the things that are 
would lean on someone getting a heart attack or cardiovascular mm -hmm. disease. It's stress, lifestyle, and diet. Mm -hmm. So, apoko stress and maybe depression. Uh, stress. Uh, unaza kona the stress. Mm -hmm. there is a, remember, there is a difference between stress mm -hmm. and depression. Mm -hmm. Those are two different things. Mm -hmm. What is depression to you and what is stress to you? I should know this because we did this the other day also on Health Monday. And mm. I was told there's one that is a psychological one. It's a state of mind. And there's one that's clinical. Mm -hmm. So I think depression is psychological. Psychological? Yes. Na pita exam, guys. So ni mekwari ki pay attention to my own classes. So at times we tend to ignore these things. Huh? Mm -hmm. When it comes to depression, mm -hmm. it can also be a cause. Mm -hmm. Remember you're piling a lot of things maybe you have a lot of pressure mm -hmm. that you don't know what to actually mm. uh, na manome ni kujikaza that's why munashikata attack apana uh, mm. everybody as in it's not a must mm -hmm. but uh, uh the 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 what is it called the analysis that has been made mm -hmm. is is that men are prone to heart attack mm -hmm. are you together mm -hmm. but uh, after menopause uh, m women are prone me it's wow. not a must, mm -hmm. but why after may. menopause? I'm not sure about why after menopause, mm -hmm. but it's not a must. Mm -hmm. Are you together? As long as you're checking on your diet, you're able to sleep well. Because remember, what happens when you don't sleep? My, uh, personally, when I don't sleep, I get very short tempered. Like, naturally, I don't make decisions clearly. and. and uh -huh. Yeah. How do you feel your body? Do you feel if it's energetic? Ah, yes, it's, mm, mm, like every move is an effort. It's like I'm fighting yes, against. It's like I'm you're resisting. fighting. Mm. Remember, your body needs to mm. to rest. Mm -hmm. Are you together? Mm -hmm. And if you don't have adequate sleep, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you'll be straining mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Oh, and we did this also on a previous show that we should sleep for at least, maybe on average, seven point five yes. hours. That's yes. awesome. Mm -hmm. So basically, you need a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of sleep. All right. Yeah. So maybe in conclusion, we can talk about how to uh, prevent heart attacks. And I want us to focus on the youth because I, I imagine heart attack in a sound can be gonzo mtumze. I will not say you gonzo mtumze because mm. uh, the lifestyle that we, the young generation, are, are undertaking. Mm -hmm. It's it's a very big 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 threat. We're at risk. Yeah, we are at risk. Mm -hmm. So how do we prevent this? So how do you prevent? Number one, exercise. Mm -hmm. Are you together? You need exercise. It's not a must go to the gym. When do we know each other? You just exercise. Maybe go for morning runs. Mm -hmm. Go for some jogs at least one in a, once in a while. Go play hockey, go mm -hmm. play basketball, go play rugby, mm -hmm. uh, go for swimming mm -hmm. once in a while. Eh? Mm -hmm. At least for your body to be, mm -hmm. you're, you're burning those fats. Eh? Mm -hmm. And also, as, uh, as you're doing exercise, you're reducing the rate of which you can be able to do what? Get diseases. Yes, get diseases. <laughs> uh, number two is observing good diet. Mm -hmm. eh? Uh, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. it is always what? Terrific, Terrific Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you see old people uh, at the pizza mm. Not really what are going, but uh -huh. the, mm. the, the, the rate, mm -hmm. it is the young generation. Mm -hmm. Let's choose what we eat mm -hmm. very wisely. Let's at least balance mm -hmm. the vitamins, the carbohydrates, the proteins. Balance diet. I tell you what I want to class 3. What is happening to it now? You're mm -hmm. forgetting. Because mm -hmm. you want to eat, every day you want to eat chicken. Mm -hmm. But you're doing more harm to your to body. Your body. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. Something else that people don't do, mm -hmm. you need to be going for checkups. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you going for checkups? Some of us, the country is living below the poverty line and you want us to keep let me, going let for me ask. What do you want uh, from us? Are you paying? Hmm. It's, uh, it's uh, I always say don't, uh, Put, don't talk about money when it comes to your health. When do you want me to talk about it? When yeah. they're asking for it? Don't talk about money when it comes to your health. Mm -hmm. Let me ask. Mm -hmm. If I want you to go for, I want you to go to, what is it called? Mm -hmm. I want you to go for the clinic. Mm -hmm. eh? Or you go to the chemist. It's just a hundred, Bob, just to check your BPs. Mm -hmm. 
Are you together? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah? That I do. Ama would you wait for <laughs> when, you, when you're when you sick? Oh, Ama when it's too much. That's even more expensive. How much eh? money would you waste? Okay. Yeah? Yes. So, good. Uh, eat well. Mm -hmm. Go for checkups. Work out. Sleep well. Mm -hmm. Avoid stress. Mm -hmm. That's it. You're good mm. to go. Translated, hydrate, kula vizuri, and mind your business. When you mind your business, you're not so stressed. Still you? Mm -hmm. What he said at Y254 on Facebook, at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is when the morning. Thank you for staying with us on this segment on health. We are coming up with politics with K Alex, but please do give us your social media handles before we leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, follow me at on Facebook. Mm -hmm. On Kefa Kefa. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you spell that? K E F A H mm -hmm. K E F A H. All right. Thank yes. you so very much for coming. Thank you. You, dear viewer, don't go away.